Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game. In terms of entering in new positions in the marketplace, we've went through, you know, the first five steps of our daily routine. We're now in step six, entering new positions. Let's make the assumption that we don't have any trades on. Let's make that assumption uh, in, in terms of, you know, we're just starting out. Uh, we're just new to all of this. We're new to the system. We're new to, to tackle. We're new to rich dad. We're new to everything. And we just want to go out there and find our first trade. We want to go out there and we want to find that first transaction that we, uh, that we make here. Well, in terms of that, there are a, a, a variety of different ways that you can search and scan. Uh, you can run technical scans. You can check your watch list. You can check the heat map. You can look at our scouting reports. You can check the Tackle 25. There's a lot of different ways we can do this. So let's first look at a, a, a couple things here. In terms of the daily routine, part of that daily routine is to assess the heat map. And so let's first go to the heat map. Now I'm gonna take a couple of the, the, the radical scenarios here. For example, on the long side, AIG having a great day today. Uh, you have uh, AVGO, AVGO having a great day today. You have Cigna, which is now up 9% today. It was up 6% earlier today. It's up 9% already today. I uh, just recorded that uh, that uh, daily routine video, and now we have, that was 6%. That was five minutes ago. It's up 9% already. We missed opportunity just by talking about it. Uh, you have PCP up here, uh, up 1.85%. Uh, so we got a few right there that we have. So And then on the downside, you have Facebook down a, a percent and a half. You have Microsoft down 1.54. You have Google down 1%. You have Amazon down 1.22%. But but here you got UTX on the downside. So on the short side here, you have UTX, which is down uh, quite a bit, 2% today. You have Abbott Labs here, which is uh, down 1.34%, uh, uh, kind of breaking a little bit of a support level there on Abbott Labs as well. And that's what I like about this heat map. You can kind of see a little bit of a, uh, of a trend analysis to a certain, ex uh, to a certain extent. Uh, here you have uh, Rockwell Automation down 1.94%. You have, uh, oh, here's one, FLS down 2.23%. Uh, so the heat map just gave us a couple opportunities. Whether we take them or not, that's an entirely different story, an entirely different story. Uh, but we're going to look into those. Now, let's go ahead and go to the scouting report. Now, Gino, Gino posts his scouting report, his options report every single Saturday. Gino, in my estimation, is one of the best options traders I've ever been around. So I'm going to come down to his bullish team. And on his bullish team, he has Dow. He has RCL. So I'm going to look at both Dow and RCL on the bullish teams. He has his triggers, his exits, his stop losses, all of those. On his bearish team, he has uh, CH, C H R W. He has H E S. He has E O G. And I'm making this just these list of, of potential st uh, stocks I could look at. Oh, and here's some credit spreads. Maybe I need some positive theta trades. And so here's a couple of trade uh, credit spreads. You have a bear call on CMG. Nothing in life makes me more happy than when I'm shorting the financial stocks. A second to that is uh, shorting CMG, and then you have a bear call on Priceline. We might want to price those uh, those two in there. You have a debit spread on uh, Alexian here, and so there's different there's different ways, and that's a uh, bear put spread by the way. And so you're looking at different uh, different trades here that I can look at. So now I'm, I'm I'm creating this list, and now let's go let's go look at them. So on the long side, and if I wanted to create a watch list of these. I just go down to uh, create watch list and we'll just call this long for right now. Let's add our symbols here. Our symbols are the couple from Gino, Dow, and then he had, uh, let's see, what else do you have? RCL. And then from the heat map, we had AIG, had a good day today. You have an AVGO, another good day today. Uh, CI, Cigna just doing just 
disgustingly amazing things today. I'm sure they had either earnings or some type of news out there. So let's just go ahead and save that one and let's look at them. Okay, so on AIG, let's take it off the weekly chart. Let's go to a daily chart. So here on AIG, short-term uptrend just broke out of $61 right here, having a real wide body candle here already. Now, nothing lasts forever. Nothing does. And so what I want to do, because I don't know if I want to make a trade yet. I, I don't know that yet. Just because I'm building a list doesn't mean I want to make a trade right then on that list because it might be already overextended. I might have already have, should have made this trade to a certain extent. So I'm going to go look at its potential average yield. Its potential average yield is the average size in in the marketplace and when you're looking at this this stock has a tendency to go from forty nine dollars to fifty five dollars that's a six dollar movement and then it has a tendency in this wave to go from fifty four to fifty eight and a half that is a four point five percent per I mean uh, point then it goes from fifty six up to sixty that is a four point movement and then it's already in this movement went from fifty nine up to 63 and a half. So the most the most this stock goes before retracing is about six. Its average is right around four and a half or five. It's already moved 4.5 points, which means this stock has already moved too far for me to justify a short-term trade. If I'm looking at a short-term trade on it, I can't do that. If I'm looking at something a little bit longer, I got to switch to a weekly chart, and as you can see, weekly charts can run quite a long time. So the long-term trade is a little bit different than the short-term trade is. If it's a short-term trade, I'm kind of just waiting to, uh, to see the next retracement. But what I like about the stock here on AIG is the fact that this year, this stock is up from $50 all the way to 64. It's really up about 30% on the year so far. The market itself is only is basically negative on the year so far. So despite the fact that I missed it on this short-term go-around, maybe next time I can, I can hit this. So I'm going to keep it on the watch list there. The next one we have is AVGO. AVGO here, a little bit of a different beast here. You know, and looking at this short term uptrend, you're looking really, this trend has really been going on since last October. Very consistent. It set a higher high at 150, retraced back down to 137, and now it's starting to go back up. That is a potential buying opportunity right now on AVGO, given the fact that it has a wide body candle. This is what we call a bullish engulfing candlestick pattern, which is a big momentum based candlestick pattern as well. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to target on this. You could go back to your potential average yield. I'm going to just draw a Fibonacci because we're going to make a trade here. I'm going to draw a Fibonacci extension here, and I'm just going to draw the current wave to the upper wave, back down to the lower wave right there. And we're going to see what that 100% projection is. It's all the way up to 174 with the short-term projection up to 159. That's a 61.8% target versus a 100% target. So here on uh, here on AVGO, we found a potential trade here. Now we can uh, we can you know either buy the stock, we can you know buy the buy the call option. We're just going to buy the stock just to make it easy here. So I'm going to buy the stock at current market value of 143.54. You have a stop loss here at 130, we're going to call it one half ATR. We're going to put a stop loss at 135. That's about one half ATR underneath support. And I'm going to target that 100% Fibonacci ratio of 173.45. So I'm going to now, now that I got that trade, I'm going to right click buy custom OCO bracket. I can just buy a current market value because it's a stock. Change my ex exits to good tail canceled. And let's just do 100 shares here. Well, my stop loss, we put at 135. My target, we put at 173.45. And we have 100 shares here, confirm and sent. So we found us a, we found us a trade. We put it in, AVGO, going on over to Cigna. Cigna's up 20 points already today. Uh, don't you wish you would have made that trade on the retracement from yesterday? Wow, that would have been awesome for every single one of us. Now, looking at that, uh, it's it's real big on the candlestick pattern here. I just want to drop it down to an intraday just to kind of show you the price movement. Here's the price movement. Boom, 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 boom. Market here 
already open. Had some news come out intraday. Now it's up 14% already today. Look at the momentum behind that. Little, it makes you a little uneasy just given the fact that uh, we just found it. Sorry, moving. Uh, but that's a potential opportunity right there. Dow Cam right here uh, at a support level, confirming kind of moving up there. And looking at PCP in a downtrend, I'm looking at neutrality, probably shy away from PCP. And then here's RCL, not another one we found off the heat map. Looking uh, fairly decent. I like it at that support level right there. Uh, it's going to be interesting. I like support at 75. You can be a little more aggressive on this one, putting a stop loss right underneath 75. So that's how we found a couple uh, couple uh, on, on the bull side is we looked at the heat map. We looked at uh, Geno scouting report. Um, you also have other tools to help you find uh, potential trades out there. For example, if you look, if you go the uh, uh, the uh, tackle 25, the tackle 25 is is a great fundamental and uh, and uh, technical a combination of the fundamental analysis versus technical analysis on ways you can find potential trades out there. For example, Tesoro or Apple. These are all fundamentally strong stocks that are undervalued in relative to their industry and their sector. They're also very liquid from a cover call naked put perspective as well. And so, for example, let's look at you know, United Health is doing UTX, and again, this is just the list. Go through the list, see if it's setting up. Um, they have good dividends, they have good cash flow on a, on a monthly basis in the covered call. So you got the tackle 25, and then you have then you have the ability to go out there and create scans. And so if I go to the screener here, and let's say since we found a a, a bullish stock, let's say I want to find a bearish stock. So I'm going to go to the screener here. I'm going to hit on market cap, go to plus mid. I want average volume. We're going to say over a million shares transacted daily. Option shortable. We're going to say we want an option, optionable and shortable. And we'll say we just want stocks over $30 because we're going to short a stock here. And then I'm going to go to the technical tab. And I'm going to say, you know what? I want a stock that is below its 50-day moving average but above its 20-day moving average. I have 27 stocks here to, to, to choose from uh, specifically, and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for bearish retracements is what I'm looking for. Uh, for example, here on EW. EW has a bearish retracement. Sometimes you can find a lot of good reversal patterns, kiss of death patterns, uh, those types of patterns in the marketplace as well. Uh, looking here on LinkedIn, LNKD. You know, nice little huge downward movement on that earnings, retraces back up, hit the next icon. Uh, with the market at support, these are not the best patterns because you're, you're looking for the market at resistance level. But here's one on RMD, RND. I'm going to go look at RND now, and we're going to see if we got a trade there. So RMD, ResMed. All right, up, 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 earnings bad, negative news bad, retraces back, both times retrace back. Really like this movement here, though. As you can see, up, 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 comes into the moving average, starts coming back down. That's the potential trade on the short trade, ladies and gentlemen. So in looking at this, you have a lot of just help out there. You got the you got Gino's options report, you got the tackle 25, you got the heat maps uh, to help you potentially find potential trades. Then you have scanning. And I just ran one scan for, for specific stock. We found RMD. It looks pretty good on the downside. Obviously, we would wait for it to continue going down. But that's how we would perform uh, number six in the uh, daily routine is we would go out there, search and scan for new trades. Uh, and a lot of that re revolves around building a list that you can watch. And that's what we call a watch list. Building these lists that we can go through quickly so that we can get out there and make some trades. And uh, that's how you perform uh, number six. Get off the sidelines and take control of your financial future at www.tackletrading.com. Get in the game.